Hi guys, welcome again. My name is Khalil Abdul. With me, I have a uh, direction with a uh, uh, with a given plan. Okay, our mission is to find the direction of A, B, and C and D. Okay, so let's start with direction of A, which is equal to this one. Okay, so very simple. Okay, so this is the direction of A two over three, one over three, two over three. Here is one over three. So we are to just find the direction of A. Okay, so very simple. Okay, so your origin must always be zero. For you to find the direction very easy using head and tail, subtract uh, tail from head. Okay, so let us start. And here it is Z, and here it is Y, and here it is X. All they are positive. So, uh, for, for you to find the direction of tail, you know, here is tail, and here is head. So, for you to get the direction of tail, nothing consigned with the head. So, let's start with tail. Tail. Okay. So, for the tail, here is our tail. So, for the x is infinity, 0. For the y is 0. And z goes 2 over 3. Therefore, x is 0 y is 0 and uh, z is 2 over 3 so for the tail for the head for the head for the direction of head head for the head this is our head and uh, if you go 1 for x and one for z and ha one over three for z one for x one for y and one over three for z it will give you the tell let trace one for x one for y one over three for z one one 1 over 3 ok so just subtract head minus tail will equivalent to 1 minus 0 is 1 1 minus 0 is 1 1 over 3 minus 2 over 3 1 over 3 minus 2 over 3 3 3 minus 1 which is equal to one three two which is equal to one over three okay but minus by one over three okay so the direction will be times we can just multiply by three in order to simplify 1 times 3 is 3 1 times 3 is 3 1 times 1 over 3 will be bar 1 so this is the direction for A so for the direction of V for the direction of V here 
you can just go B here is our A okay for the direction of B very simple for you to understand you must you must pay your attention so for the b direction is like this okay it's like this And here is 2 over 3 and here is 1 over 2 okay so the same procedure here is our tail and here is our head okay very simple if you pay your attention it's very simple okay so for the so here is our origin also so always this I remind you always your origin must to be at the center here is Z and here is Y and here is X okay so for you to go the direction of tail, so you have to be very careful. Let's trace. Our aim is to go here. So what do you make? What do you go do to go here? Okay. So it's very simple. So here it will go one over two, and here you will go one, and here will go one or we can say for the z to go one for the y to go one and for the x to go two over three so for the for the for the x is two over three since for the y z one y one and x is two over three yes okay so the direction of head will be you have to pay attention here is our head so you need to go for head here is our zero also so you can now see here for y is one and for z is one over two that is for y is 1, for the x is 0, for the y is 1, for the z is 1 over 2. So, 0, 1, 1 over 2. So, just subtract head minus tail will equivalent to 0 minus 2 over 3 will be by 2 over 3 1 minus 1 is 0 half minus 1 is bar half so we need to multiply it by 6 in order to remove fraction so here will be direction will be 2 over 3 times 6 will be 4 by 4. 0 times 6 is 0. Half times 6 is by 3. So that is the direction of B. So for the direction of C, for the direction of C is very simple. What you need is to just pay your attention. Okay, let's draw the C. For C,
Okay, so for the C, it like it like this. Half, half, and here is one over three. So, so from here, it, this is our head, tail, and this is our head. So, as I said, the origin must be here. This is what Z, Y, and this is X. Okay, so very simple. So from here, we can now say that tell is equal to for the tell. Since here, you need to go for this tell. You need to do anything that makes you to go for this tell. If you think very carefully from here, this is zero. If you go Z1, X1, is very wrong but what about if you go here here one for x and for z is one over three for x is one for z is one over three for y this is y is infinity zero so for the height for the height For the head, this is our head. Be careful. This is our head. So we can say that here is one, here is one, here is one. It can't give you this head. But what about if you go for half? Since you 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 you, you see what half half double half. So here is half. And here is one and here also is half half one half or you can say half one half yes that is so for the for the X is half for the Y is one for the Z is half half one half yes okay so head minus then will give you half minus one will give you bah, half one minus zero one one over two minus one over three will give you one over six must multiply by 6 okay so our direction will be half times 6 is 3 by 3 1 times 6 is 6 and uh, 1 over 6 times 6 is 1 so that is a direction for C so for the direction of D It's very simple. This is direction of D. For D. Okay, so the direction of D will be like this. Here is double half, comma double half, and here is half. So body, this is our. 
also have this is our tail and this is our head so body body tail direction this is your origin z x and y so for here goes one one over two very simple just be careful you need to go for the uh, the direction of tail so here is one and a half so no x so x is infinity y is infinity x is one over two and uh, x is one sorry and z is one over two for the height for the height the direction will be this is your height will be half half z is infinity half half z is infinity so head minus tail will be equal to half minus half by half half minus zero half and one minus half by half n times two direction of will be by one one by one so this is the final solution don't forget to subscribe to Scalitronics at YouTube for more videos regarding physics chemistry and mathematics thank you for watching remember it's don't forget to subscribe thank you